um, where, I don't know where anything is right now. Okay. There we go. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, hello. Um, give me one second. Sorry if I'm a little frazzled tonight. I'm just frazzled tonight. You're gonna have to deal with it. Um, got my notebook out. Okay. This is fine. Alright, so I've been told that we're actually getting close to the end of this video game. Um, hold on, did I have to adjust these sounds at all? I'm gonna need someone to come on and tell me if this sounds okay. It might be too quiet. If it does end up being too quiet, please let me know. But, um, it looks okay, but it's on the settings that previously I've been told had late and too quiet. So I'm not really sure. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. saying let me know if the sound is off um it looks okay but it's the settings that somebody said were too quiet before so i'm confused um now it's louder then what's the point of me writing down the right settings all right i turned it down significantly how is that I'll fix it after. Alright, you're gonna have to tell me if this sounds okay now, because I have no idea. Alright. Our story so far. Luke and Leighton meet a mysterious young girl at the dead end on the north side of the village. She starts to tell them something, but a sinister figure lurking in the shadows scares her off. Afterward, a puzzled Leighton and Luke find a ticket to the town amusement park and head there. Oh, that's what we were doing. Okay. Search the- oh, right. Oops, wrong thing. Well, what's in our journal? Hello, Elliot. Uh, okay. Sealed park. Okay. Find a way into the park. We need to find the oh, we're finding the caretaker. Okay. We are in the sewers, just like Lame is. Just like Lame is. Alright, um, what do you gotta say to me? Uh, I don't remember his voice. I have such a hard time with this guy's voice. What is it? Um... Eh, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> well, don't you look surprised? I'll bet you didn't expect to see me in a place like this, eh? The river that encircles most of Satan's stairs right past this pipe. But don't you be getting any ideas. He can't cross it. Give up on those ridiculous notions of returning to the rest of the world and settle down here, live in the sewers. I suppose it's a tough transition to make. <laughs> Here's a puzzle to help you get situated. Sorry, I had to check something. All right. Uh, in your preparation, in preparation for your big move, you've packed your belongings into 20 boxes and arranged them as shown below. With everything packed, you are now ready to label each box with its contents. In order to do so though, you'll need to move a few boxes around. How many of the boxes can't be labeled without rearranging the stacks? Um, 
Jesus Christ. All right, cool. Just preemptive saves. Okay, so um, this one we can label. This one we can label. This one. 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 And then there should be two more down here that we can label. This one we can label. This one we can label. So there is one here, one here, and one here. So it should just be three. It should just be three. I say with confidence. There we go. Thank God. Whew. Okay. Another puzzle solved. Uh, quite right. Moving. Okay, yeah, no, I just got it right. Sorry if I'm a little distracted. I'm just checking messages. All right. <laughs> well done. I like the way you get all fired up over puzzles. You're my kind of guy. I mean, it doesn't fucking matter, Nate, really. Like, if you think about it, you can just... You can just turn it. You can just turn them later. Why would you label the top? If you label the top, then if you stack them, you can't see what they are. You can just po draw an arrow pointing up. On the side that you label. Is the box's turn. So hurry up and get settled already. St. Mister is happy to have you. If you turn it, like if you just, I'm not saying flip it. Just, you can just rotate it. Like don't flip it. Just like, turn. I don't know how to explain this to you without without, like, showing you. Like, turn it, like, instead of up and down, side to side. And then just draw an arrow pointing up so you know that's the top. You know, don't... I don't understand. I have never in my life labeled a box on top. Because we, we have to stack... Like, you have to stack the boxes when you put them into a truck and stuff. How are you gonna know what's in it? I don't understand how your dad does that at all. Oh! We are just some little guys. We are just the littlest guys. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if I can grab it. Oh! Little guys. I certainly didn't foresee sewers leading to a place like this. Look, look, there's my automobile. Oh! Puzzle. Weird, uh, weird, weird intro. Alright. You and your girlfriend went on a road trip over the weekend. On the way to your destination, you drove 180 miles and your girlfriend drove the rest of the way. Coming home the exact same roads, your girlfriend drove the first 150 miles and then you got the behind the wheel for the last leg of the journey. So what is the difference in miles between the distance you drove and the distance your girlfriend drove? Hold on. I, there might be easier math for this, but I don't care. So, we have 180 miles one way. Plus whatever the girlfriend drives to get um, the boyfriend drive plus 150. So...
that's not fucking helpful. Dun, 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 dun. Nate, that's great. I'm gonna stop looking at the chat while I'm trying to solve things, though. Because I don't want to just be, like, letting you solve puzzles for me. So, I'm not gonna check it anymore until after I've input at least one answer. You guys might just have to listen to more silence. exact same. What is the difference in miles? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Mom. I think you're right about it being 60. I think it needs to be 60 because you have to count both ways. Yeah, so you get 30, but then you have to- it's 30 both ways. I mean, I didn't get that other part that you both- I didn't get that other- I mean, I just- I don't think it works out super great. I think you just have to guess. I think it's a little bit of a guess. up job, Luke. Just in case. Um, also, our goal tonight is going to be 75 puzzles or as close to possible. Because Hannah said that is the next, uh, that is the next puzzle limit. Fossil, where will it go? It will go to the zip professor. Oh, hi. The 
this fucking dude. We got a dude. Ho oh, there. Now what can I do you fellows for? You're the park headache, are you not? Do you mind opening up the gate to the park for us? Well, how could I refuse two curious lads such as yourselves? Curious? Hmm. Well, I'd like to open it up for you, but I've got to finish this repair job here before I do anything. Is there anything we can do to help them? Funny you should mention it. If I could just figure out the area on this map, I'd be done to do. Got any good. You any good with things like that? Well, are we ever? Squares and circles. Sylvia. Nope. Sylvan brought you this diagram to see if you could help him with it. Several circles and squares are pictured in the diagram below. How many times larger is the area of the blue circle when compared with that of the red square? Oh, the blue square when compared with the red square. My bad. Hmm. I think that if you're... You could speedrun a latent game if you, like, already know the puzzles. Um, and just, like, know them. Oh, cool, I can draw on it. All right, so we have... Oh, no. So this one goes to the edge of the circle, which goes to the edge of this square, which goes to this circle, which has the same diameter as a length of the square. So the... Nope, not diameter. Cir nope. Yeah, no, that is diameter. Radius is the one that's half. Um, diameter is this, so for big circle, I have to write this down, or I have to write something down, so the big circle equals blue square side. I think I might be underthinking. I might be both under and overthinking it. I don't know how that's possible. What if I just count the fucking bricks? Would that be anything? But wait, big circle equals blue square side length, but little circle equals red square hypotenuse? Like this? That is true. Um. Oh okay, yeah, because it's not equal there. So you got a this. And she got a this. One hour and 20 minutes. All puzzles is two hours. I feel like those people have to already know. Like, they don't have to have the puzzle answers up in front of them, but they have to have played, like, obviously played the game before, but they have to have a good idea of what the an most of the answers are going to be ahead of time. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, hypothetically, six by six. And then this is... Not lining up correctly. Never mind. Um. Why the fuck would I do that, though, Nate? 
Like, I mean, I can. I can give you the worst drawing ever. It's really hard to do straight lines in this. Hold on. How's... Nope. How's that? Yeah, you can rotate it. Awesome. I'm just gonna use all the hint coins. Just rotate the middle square. Squares corners now make contact with the middle square. Oh, cool, it clears. How the fuck do you want me to draw this? Sure, I don't I don't care and I do not want anyone to explain it to me. If Elliot thinks that's it, we're just gonna move on. I really don't want to do any more math tonight, so we're not even gonna... I don't care. Fine work for both of you. As soon as I take care of this busted main, I'll open that coat for you. Yeah, that ought to take care of this mess. Now let's open up the park, eh? That was fast. Just hold on one second here. That was also fast. There we are. The park is yours to explore now. Professor, we're in. Thank you. You've been of great help, caretaker. Ah. Uh. I only need thanking, sir. After all, this is my job. Way back when, I used to keep it open every day, but these villagers, they don't care. Wait for me, Park. I'm glad you fellows stopped by. It's the first time in a while I've had to do my job. N no, really. Like, I don't want to be doing math most of the time. And frankly, just getting ha struggling with puzzles makes me feel really 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 bad like i spent a lot of school crying over math i don't need to be doing it during latent games this park is really kind of sad isn't it it's all rusty and abandoned it's just as sylvian said it seems that no one set foot in this park for a dreadfully long time now on to business let's give the grounds of Earth the ferris wheel a once over i expect we'll find something of interest there a map of the park. It's yellowed with age. Puzzle. Please don't be mad. Oh my. What is it, Professor? Oh wait, it's not a puzzle? It's not a puzzle! Look at this poster. The picture appears to be the same one as the one on the ticket we picked up. It looks like it's been posted here for ages. It's so faded you can't even read the letters, except for the parts where you can clearly say it says carnival. And ing. Oh. Hey, isn't that... Yes, I thought so. That's little Flora in the middle of the picture, isn't it? She looks exactly as she does in the portrait we saw of her in Reinhold's Manor. It would seem that Baron Reinhold built this amusement park for the sole enjoyment of his daughter. Rich people are so strange. <laughs> strange. I wonder why it wasn't more popular with the village folk once it opened to the public. Well, I don't suppose speculation will help us very much. Let's keep moving. Right you are, Professor. else wanna that might just be it that's fine um this way oh 
Look at this, Professor. It was lying on the ground. It appears to be a scrap of notebook paper. Would you read it aloud for me? Sure thing, Professor. All right, let's see. The older she gets, the more young Miss is catching on to this village's secret. She seems lonely, which is probably why the boss asked me to build an amusement park for her. Yep, it certainly looks like I've got my work cut out for me. The young Miss mentioned here must be Flora. The whole park was built just for her. But I don't understand this other line. What's all this business about the village? About the secret in the village? I just wasn't ready to handle the boss's death. Poor young miss, she's all alone in the world now. But no matter what happens, I have to keep going and take care of her in the boss's place. The page ends there. Baron Reinhold sounds like he truly loved his daughter more than anything. Fate can be so cruel. Yeah, how curious. And coin. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, it's you lads again, eh? How do you like my park? Lovely, isn't it? Sunshine bright today and I'm in fine spirits. Why not celebrate this weather with a puzzle? Let me tell you one of my favourites. A uh, tennis ball is rolled down into a hole. This particular hole is extremely deep and has a sharp bend in the middle, making the ball impossible to retrieve by hand. However, you have something common, incredibly commonplace on hand that you can use to get the ball out. What do you use to get the ball out? Answer in five letters. Well, I think I'm gonna grab a jacket real quick, so just think. Just think. Something incredibly commonplace on hand. Some... To make matters worse, the ground around the hole is made of hard clay, so digging the ball isn't an option. And... I'm just closing my eyes so I don't see the chat. Um... That you would have on you at a Maybe I shouldn't be thinking of tennis courts. We can't dig it. I've already gone through a few things. Um, and it's a fucking tennis ball, so. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a drink in a second. You know what, Elliot? running through words in my head, so. I don't know if I've got it. Mm -mm, that one doesn't work. Oh, wait, um... Well, that doesn't help. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. Y'all had a whole bucket? I was thinking they were gonna use a little... Uh, a water bottle. Ah, you're quite the silver, aren't you? Ah, oh, yeah, getting back to me park. It hasn't been properly maintained and the parts are just rotten away. If something looks old and broken, do the smart thing, lads, and stay away from it. Uh, sure. We'll move this in a second. Oh, whoa. Look, Professor, there's a strange little shed there. 
Interesting. It seems this shed routes water to the sewer pipes. I feel this warrants a closer look. Hmm. It doesn't appear that the door will open. Let's move on and explore the rest of the park, Luke. Yeah, I figured. But let me click on this. It says don't throw trash in the lake. No littering. Nothing for me. Fucking nothing. Oh, never mind. There's a hand coin. You know who does keep a bucket on them at all times for emergencies? Kate Weatherall. That's who. Kate. Uh, a violin. I wonder if an old thing like that still sounds good. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. What do you think of the violin, Luke? Wow, perfect. I'm learning the violin back at home. Wonderful. What a find. It makes one reflect upon this planet's long history. Make sure everything looks good in here. Alright, cool. He likes everything. Likes, 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 okay. And they still aren't halfway to happiness. This is so upsetting. Kate Weatherall? Um, she is from the Mysterious Benedict Society. I just finished rereading that book, so. Maybe this goes up here? And then... This could go there? Alright, well that clearly doesn't fit. Uh, uh, well, we need more. We need more painting things. We need more painting things. That way. This must be the ferris wheel we were looking for. I forgot we were looking for a ferris wheel. Luke, why don't you look around and see if anything seems odd about it? Sure thing, Professor. Alright. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. Alright. Ugh. Did you find anything out of the ordinary, Luke? Oh god, I gotta come up with more things to do with channel points. No, not a thing. Maybe there's no secret hidden in this ferris wheel after all. Oh god, I feel like I need to sneeze again. I just sneezed four times. Huh. <sighs> that remains to be seen. Let's look around a bit more, shall we? Puzzle. Though I can't put my finger on it, there's something quite odd about this ferris wheel. It makes me wonder if we might have overlooked something important around the park. We, we haven't looked at everything yet, though. That reminds me, Luke. Have you heard the wonderful puzzle about the ferris wheel? Oh, I'm all messed up now. Sneezing. 50? Oh my. There are 10 two-seater cars attached to the fair's Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel turns so that one car rotates the platform every minute. The operation begin they blah, 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 blah. The wheel began operation at 10 in the morning and shut down 30 minutes later. What's the maximum number of people that could have taken a ride on the wheel in that time period? So. All right. There's 10 two-seater cars, and they go through every minute. So, it would take, so in the, oh, I'm thinking at first it's zero, and I have to remember at first it's zero, and then it holds up, then it adds up, but then it shut down 30 minutes later, so everyone had to get off. 
So we lose the last, is it the last 10 minutes? So. Or would it be nine minutes? And it can hit two in each, so I should just multiply my answer by two. But, um, it'll be ten minutes. And then I get off ten minutes later. So, my first guess is 40, but that seems too easy. So let me just like actually write things down. So, that would be the first one gets off. So then, It takes 10 minutes for the whole thing to, sh to fill up for... That takes a full 10 minutes to load up with 20 people max. And then the next... I could say that's another 20. But if someone gets on, then that's one more couple can get on. They'll get a full rotation, so that's two. So it should be 42. How does this sound? All right, cool. Save the day. All right. There's nine minutes. The moment I run occupied for the last nine minutes. Need to stay. No one be able to ride the cars. Board the cards. I just was guessing, man. Excellent job, my boy. We should take another quick look around the area to make sure we haven't missed an important clue. Yeah, I haven't. I, I know I haven't finished going through the area, guys. This was his ticket stand once, but it's unmanned now. No! It's a lovely Ferris wheel. What's a sh what a shame it's in such disrepair. Yeah, like I know, buddy. It appears that no one is working in the shop. No wonder this place hasn't been used in years. Why would anyone be working in the shop? This place is so run down, it looks like it hasn't been touched in years. What a shame, I bet it used to be a fun place. There's even a big tent like the kind you see in circuses. Yes, there is something quite sad about it, isn't there? How strange, this was clearly a travelling carnival. So why was it left to rot here in St. Mysteria? I bet the ferris wheel is a mess too. I suppose I won't get you to use up that ride ticket we picked up. Well, we have better things to do than ride that thing, don't we? 
somewhere in this park he hides a clue to the finding the golden apple. I'm sure of it. Luke just wants to always enjoy, like, a carnival. He wants to, like, go to a circus and have a fun time, and frankly, Lee, we should let him. Oh, that looks like a circus big top. No one seems to be inside. It appears that no one is working in the shop, and I'm very hungry. Can someone please get me a snack? Who's going to carry my snacks around now? I just don't know. Oh, now I have to check the Ferris wheel again? Alright. So in the end, that ticket we picked up turned out to be meaningless? So it seems. I suppose my intuition failed us this time, Luke. Come, let's head back to the heart of St. Mysteria and search for our next lead. Ah, cutscene. Little mm -hmm. guys. Mm -hmm. Is this Ferris wheel gonna fucking fall? It's gonna fucking fall. Jesus Christ. Get away, Luke. Run. The fact that it's rolling so well is objectively hilarious. Guys, just run to the side. For the love of God, into the trees! Aww. Oh! Well. Rip that, Shaq. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> oh, a rainbow! A rainbow. Oh my god. <laughs> What is with these guys and freaks in capes and weird mechanical shit? Ew, ew, ew. Why would that? That's not it. Why would the Ferris wheel? Professor, look what happened to the shed. We wanted to see what was in there, and now it's gone. The Ferris wheel must have simply destroyed it. If we'd made a wrong step back there, we'd be rubble too. Oh my. Hmm. I think I found something here, Professor. What could that be? Now, what's an entrance to the sewers doing here? This could well be an underground passage to the tower. We've got to take a look below. Come. I'm right behind you, Professor. Here, let me do a little save. Wonderbar. I hope I don't trip. This place is pitch black. Except that it isn't. It's better lit than a CW show. <laughs> and it's cold, too. Watch your step, Luke. Look for anything suspicious or out of place. Bucket. Oh, that's fine then. The bucket's fine. Look, there's a sort of stone tablet embedded in the wall. This is clearly some kind of puzzle. I'd wager the solution will tell us the direction in which to proceed. Which way? The path you are on forks to the left and right in front of the sign seen below. Your gut feeling tells you that this sign reveals the direction you need to go. Find an arrow within the picture like the yellow one on the right on the side of the board. When you find it, draw a line around as neatly as possible. Keep in mind, the arrow you are searching for may not be the same size as the one pictured below. Oh, okay. Well, hypothetically, Ooh, that's bad. Hypothetically, there could- no, that's too- that's too big. Uh... Oh. we 
go. That was fast. Wonderful. Another puzzle solved. Another puzzle solved. Well done. There's our answer. We will proceed down the left corridor. Understood, Professor. An artisan's teapot. Wonderful. Bam. Hello. Hint coin. Sorry, give me a second. Click, 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 click. There we go. What if they found a corpse? That would be wild. Look, Professor, there's a strange device on the door here. Hmm, it seems to be a puzzle of some sort. I imagine the door won't open until we solve it, just like last time. It's almost like we're being tested, isn't it? Someone really wanted to see how good we were at puzzles. Get the ball out too. Oh, okay. I'm... It can be solved. I don't give a shit. Do I look like I give a shit in how few moves it can be solved? Because I do not. I don't care. Um... I actually got pretty close that time. Crazy. Here's my answer. Yay! I like how they're like, here's Every my answer for an ones answer. where you already know you got it right. Alright, fantastic. I'm not gonna try to complete it in 14 moves. That should do the trick. Found a painting scrap. Get the ball out. Oh. Hello? Okay. <laughs> that was just a long pause. Uh, oh, I forget. Alright, he likes it. What British gentleman could do without a teapot? Ah! Wow. All right, one second. I need to go to the bathroom. So, hang out.
Hello. I'm back. Okay, one second. Where's the right? There's the right screen. Okay. Let's go through the door. I hit the wrong button again. All right. Wow, I certainly didn't expect a room down here. Let's give it a throw thorough once over. Something isn't right about this place. I can feel it in my bones. <coughs> That's an ordinary tub. It's just a milk jug. Ouch! Hot, hot! Luke, why? It's a candle, baby! Why'd you grab it? Just an empty box. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. All these drawers are completely empty. What a curious face. All the poor flowers in it are wilted. Nothing to see here. Just an empty bottle here, I'm afraid. There's some tiny paintings here. Found it. Something's hidden behind here. He looks so angry. All right, let's move the picture out of the way then. What's here? This here? I can speak. Ah, key. Key moment. It appears to be some sort of key. But what does it unlock? We won't know until we investigate further. But this shape certainly looks familiar. Professor, could this be? It looks just like the tower. I knew there was something odd about that dead end. Perhaps this key will shed some light on things. We need Luke. We need to head back to that large wall on the north side of St. Mysteria. I have a hunch that it's more than a dead end. Chapter 7, The Abandoned Park. Does the park hold the way into the tower? Chapter solved. It did. Oh, right, because the... I was like, wow, this place is like shit. Yeah, no shit. Let's go investigate that dead end right away. All right, Luke, but first let's make a quick stop. <laughs> oh, no, my voice. <coughs> stop by the inn. There's something I need to check on there. <laughs> Why the inn, Professor? Seems that someone doesn't want us around, Luke. Someone is, in fact, after us. And the key to identifying this scoundrel is back at the inn. So you already have an idea about who's behind this? Ha, ah, piqued your interest, have I? Why can't you just tell me? Chapter 8, The Shadowy Intruder. Someone's been obstructing the investigation. Find the troublemaker and continue the work on the case. Save my progress. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, we're gonna ignore these people for now. And go back to the um, I probably will end tonight by doing puzzles, so. <clears throat> Hello, Professor. Is something the matter? You look quite shaken. Beatrice, I have an urgent request. Could you show me the newspapers from the last couple of days? 
the papers, certainly. Hang on for just a moment while I go fetch them for you. That's strange. I'm sure I set them down here, around here somewhere. Is there a problem? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. Even today's morning paper seems to have gone missing. Hmm. I see. Well, thank you just for this. Well, thank you just the same, Beatrice. This has been most helpful. Just what was in those papers anyway, Professor? Oh my god. Hi. Yoo-hoo. Professor Layton. Raymond, and what do we owe this visit? Oh, he told me I needed to find you and bring you to Reinhold Manor. The inspector, I mean. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. He and Lady Dahlia await your arrival at Reinhold Manor. Thank you for the message. We will set out for the manor in just a few moments. Dun, 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 dun. I want to finish this fucking painting, dude. This one has got to be just, like, here. I'm sure the more of the pieces are in, like, puzzles we haven't done. Same with the gizmos. Because we have- we don't have that many missing, but we haven't run into one in a hot second. Hot second. Back, back, back. We found a key! Leaving the park. The inspector's call. You found the key to the tower, haven't you? How do you know about the key? You mustn't interfere with the tower. Whatever you do, just stay away from there. Interfere? What do you mean by that, dear? Bye! Nice seeing you! Lovely chatting. <clears throat> Ahoo, if it isn't Professor Layton. Judging by your expression, it seems you haven't found the golden apple. You look terribly tense, Professor. Perhaps this small puzzle will help you. Ahoo, ahoo. Loosen up. What a curious tower, am I right? Oh. We did one of these before, didn't we? Help stash and scarf and move the wolf, sheep, and cabbage from one side of the river to the other while obeying the following rules. In addition to its captain, this raft can only support one animal or item at a time. When stash and scarf and isn't near, near, the wolf will eat the sheep and you have to start over. The sheep will eat the cabbage when stash and scarf and isn't around. If you let the sheep have its way, you'll have to start over. You can shuttle the raft back and forth as many times as you like, but the shortest solution takes seven moves. Okay. Okay, what we have to see is if if when I bring it over if the if the sheep immediately eats it. Okay, no. Cool. Win! Did it in seven! I got it. I know what's up. I've probably done that kind of puzzle a million times in my life. I last time just like last time when it took me a million moves, I was trying to figure out the mechanics. Usually it's like that. Last time it was like the second you leave them, the second they drop off, it it will follow the rule. Usually it's as soon as you like leave. Anyway, that was masterful, but I expected nothing less from the great Professor Layton. Ah hoo hoo hoo. Great, thank you. Did this give me anything? I want to finish this puzzle so fucking bad. Mm. 
Nice. It's not much, but it's something. Oh, what's this new mystery? Oh, the key. The tower key. Deep underground, on the edge of town, the professor and Luke found an unusual key shaped like the tower. While the connection between the key and the tower seems certain, no one can figure out where to use the key or what it unlocks. Great! Go. Go. Welcome back, Professor Layton. Please come in. Everyone is waiting. Thank you, Matthew. Is something troubling you, my good man? You seem ill at ease. Oh no, I'm feeling fine, sir. Please make your way to the parlor. All right, if you're certain that nothing is the matter, we'll head upstairs. Okay. Hold on. I want to look at... All right. You have theories? Oh, I love a theory. I love a theory. Oh, Mr. Layton, thank you for arriving so promptly. Come have a seat. Why have you called us here, Inspector Chelmy? Like you, I'm not the kind of man who beats around the bush, so I'll just come out with it. I'm on to you, Layton. It's clear as day. You are responsible for Simon's death. Shit, fuck. We need a lawyer. Quick. Someone call Phoenix. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my pen. Oh, fuck. Shit. We killed Simon. Fuck. God damn it. Are you suggesting I murdered Simon? Layton says with a smile. Nonsense. <laughs> nice, Layton. I have to admire the way you keep cool under pressure. But of course, I would expect no less from a cold blooded killer such as yourself. I don't suppose you've seen this before, eh? Uh. Have I? I might have vaguely s I don't- Dude, it's been a few weeks. I don't know if I have. The vase was sp on display in the room in which Simon was found dead. All the forensic evidence I've gathered suggests that the killer struck bit Simon with this vase. Our killer was no professional. You see, he left his fingerprints all over the murder weapon. Did we see that vase? Did we interact with that vase? We might have interacted with that vase. Fingerprints that match road, Mr. Layton. Hey, uh, tell me, you shouldn't be holding that. He should put that down. You shouldn't be touching evidence without gloves. You shouldn't actually be touching it at all, but you shouldn't be handling it without gloves because you're contaminating the evidence. That's fine. <laughs> Those are skin colored gloves. God, that sounds terrible today. Oh, it's from the market. Oh, right. They were like, this is your vase. And we were like, what the fuck are you talking about? And they were like, this is your vase. Um, oh, that's the vase from the market, isn't it? I forgot about this vase. You wrote a murderer. I don't know. I don't know if Kelmy's. Oh, fuck. If this vase is evidence, why did you just break it like it was nothing? Private channels? What are you talking about, Nate? Hello? What is happening? Oh, I'm... Okay, cool. I'm like, what are you... I was like, I can't see anything. Okay. Why did you do that? Do we think... Now I'm sitting here like, doesn't this bitch like disguises too? Which like technically I think I know from a spoiler in the movie that Hannah let us see two seconds of. 
But if this bitch, like, dis disguises, do we think Chelmy could be the Freak 2.0? I guess the OG Freak, but, you know. Alright, we are on the same page. We are on the same page vis-a-vis -vis Freak. Why else would they lock everyone out? So true. Wait, when did they... When did the bridge come down, and when did Chelmy... I don't know if I have enough information to figure that part out. Because, like, how would he know who Chelmy is? Unless he didn't interact with him before. Not important. Currently, we think that Chelmy might be a uh, freak disguised. That's fun. That's fun. All right. All right. Right, you're right. He doesn't like sweets and it was weird. So go on and give me an alibi, Layton. Where were you when Simon was killed, eh? Come on, out with it. I was with Luke, investigating matters down in the village. And the newspaper mentioning that just went missing. So true. Hmm. Is that the best you can muster? What was that? Is that the best you can muster? It's clear the little bra is an accomplice to your crime. I struggle with his voice. Jesus Christ. Admit it, Leighton. You two wanted to keep the golden apples so badly you conspired to murder Simon. You can't fool me, Leighton. So go it up and start talking. While I'm at it, I'll take the key from the to the tower you picked up too. Yeah, he's definitely the freak. He's definitely the freak. How'd you know about the key? How'd you know about the key, bitch? Where'd you hear about the key? It seems you that you are intent on pinning this crime on me, Inspector. But if you are a true enforcer of the law, you'll acknowledge that I am not the only reasonable suspect. Any member of this household could have committed the crime. In fact, you can't even rule out the possibility that everyone here had a hand in the murder. Furthermore, are we even sure that a murder took place here? That's what I'm saying. We didn't see the body. Show me the body. What kind of nonsense are you spouting now? Do you really think anyone here is fooled by your crockpot theories? At least show me his ghost. <laughs> this, I'm going to screenshot this real quick. Because this is how I feel. This is how every single Layton game makes me feel. This is how every single Layton game makes me feel. It's also it's also how I feel when Tony does murder boards. <laughs> Inspector Chelmy, I'm beginning to think the only person here with something to hide is you. That's absurd. There's nothing in the slightest to do with me. Oh. No, Inspector, it has quite a bit to do with you. Meaning? Isn't it obvious? It is to me, bitch. If there is any criminal element involved in this case... Then it is you, sir. What? Points! That's absurd. Hey, calm down! <laughs> what utter rubbish! You'll need more than some death charge to save your hide. Twitch. Twitch. He's twitching. He's twitching. We love, we fucking love in these games to accuse authorities of, of being criminals. And I'm a huge fan of it. I mean, it is obvious. We well, to be fair, Nante, we were talking about it. Um, we were talking about it when you weren't paying attention. But it's stuff like him accusing Leighton and knowing about the key. Um, the timing. I think we talked about when he appeared. He doesn't like sweets anymore. Even though, okay, no. Well, he has. He's not gonna. We, there, Leighton doesn't elaborate at all. Really, ever. You know that. I mean, he can. Chelmy just did it to us. 
Chummy did it with even less explanation, honestly. Well, the police inspector just accused us that way. So, I think it's fine. I've heard you're quite the devoted husband, Inspector. I bet you take very good care of your wa your wife, Amy. Luke and I found this article in the paper. Luke, what was the Inspector... Ch what was Inspector Kelmy's favorite food again? See, he's explaining it right now. This article specifically states you love sweet potato fritters, and yet you raged at poor Matthew when he brought you sweets with your with tea. Why? And your point is, just so happens I have a fondness for Amy's sweet potato fritters. Is that so? Thank you, Inspector. This little conversation has made things quite clear. Please, take a look at this. I believe you just called them Amy's sweet potato fritters, yes. I'd like everyone to look at this article. As you can see, the article specific nope clearly states that Inspector Kelmy's wife is named is Amelie, not Amy. Do you mean to tell me you've forgotten your own wife's name? Girl Out with it then. Who are you? And why have you been impersonating Inspector Kelmy Chelmy? And why have you been ruined running this investigation? Urgh. But your sudden memory loss regarding your wife's name isn't the only suspicious thing about you. I mean, I I know someone named Amelie, and I, she has never once in her life been called Amy. They call her Ami. <laughs> so, like, you're not wrong, but, like, it's, it's not, I don't think, the next step. Try to recall the time around Simon's death. Not say this is someone in disguise. I guess if you, you're trying to defend yourself. Maybe this guy just sucks at it. Have you considered that? He doesn't seem to be very good at any of it. You said you received a report that prompted you to come to St. Mysteria, but you forgot one thing. After Luke and I came to town- Oh, thank God, this was going to fucking bother me. I swear, this was going to bother me so much if I didn't find out the timeline. After Luke and I came to town, the drawbridge that is St. Mysteria's sole entrance had its crank stolen. This effectively sealed the village. From that point on, no one could enter or leave the village. And do you recall just when this seclusion began? It was during cell. Correct. The only route out of the village has been closed well before Simon's death was discovered. I can't remember if I said, wow, he was really fast when he arrived from London or not. But that was really fast if we didn't know if, the, if this weren't the case. <sighs> ah, yawning. After that event, there was no way that anyone outside the village could enter. But the, by the same token, there was no way to take things out of the village, particularly something as large as a corpse. So, tell me, Inspector Chelmy, when did you actually first set foot in St. Mysteria? And furthermore, what did you do with Simon's remains? Where's the fucking body? Grrr. While we're on the subject, I have one more nagging question that I haven't been able to figure out. How is it that you knew about the key to the tower we discovered? How is it? When we happened upon that key, there wasn't a soul in the area save for Luke and myself. Furthermore, I've spoken of what we found there to no one. There's no conceivable way you could have known about this key. Unless, of course, you were spying on us from the shadows when we picked it up with your very long feet. Those feet are so long. Now let me see if I've got this all right. You posed as the inspector and used Simon's death as an excuse to enter Reinhold Manor. Since then, you've been waiting for the ideal time to strike and steal the golden apple from us. How am I doing so far? Oof. 
<laughs> What's so funny? This is no laughing matter. I don't know if I should change the voice. Well, sh no, we'll, we'll wait until the disguise comes off. I'm just, I'm just astounded at how despicable I find you, Leighton. But that's exactly why you're worthy of being my archenemy. Off it comes. I love that they didn't really animate. Oh, <laughs> look at this fucking guy. Look at this fucking guy. Holy shit. The voice despised you, Leighton. I don't remember what his voice is. We'll have to find out as we go along. <laughs> I'm so... I looked over at what the what the OBS looks like because it's split. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to crush you once and for all here in Saint Mysteria. But that will have to wait since you saw through my disguise. You haven't caught on yet. But Saint Mysteria hides a secret of epic proportions and yeah. <laughs> When I imagine a dimwit like you trying to unravel the mystery, I just have to smile. <laughs> My business for here for the day has come to an end, so I'll be off now. But listen closely, Leighton. Never forget how close you came to being bested. One day, I, the great Don pa pa Paolo, Don Paolo, sure, will write my revenge down upon you. And on that fearful day, you will beg for an umbrella and a raincoat. Perhaps even some galoshes. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> what a reaction from Luke. Hmm. I guess he's gone. Do you know who that man was? I no spoilers for the prequel games, but Luke is just like, okay, this shit again. <laughs> Don Paolo is his name. I've heard stories about him. Unimpressive stories. His grasp on the hard scientists sciences. Scientists. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. His grasp on the hard sciences was rumored to be unrivaled. <laughs> the problem, as you might guess, was his personality. Though he was a genius, the man was evil. Did you see his hair? <laughs> the science board banished him from working officially in his field ever again. You know, the science board. You know the science. We all know the science board. We all know the science board. Oh no. One second. All right, there we go. We're good. <clears throat> Jeez, the science board, you know, the board of science. I love it. Really good. The entire community was like, get this guy the fuck out of here. And I like how they just kept it vague with hard sciences. Just like, whatever that means. Like, whichever sciences you feel like. The hard ones. The ones that are difficult. Just all of those sciences came together and said, get this guy the fuck out of here. Get this guy out of here. <laughs> I'll get him out of here. Well, because the thing I always think of when people say hard sciences is pretty much just bones when she calls psychology a soft science. So hard sciences presumably are like anything that isn't also considered like a social science, which is psychology at my school was like a social was for some reason listed under a social science in high school. So that would be like biology, physics, chemistry, like all of those sciences, just all the science, all of those sciences, they all have boards. And those boards came together and said, this guy, this guy, yeah, boo, we hate your pussy. Get out of here. You're too evil. You're too evil for science. <laughs> God. Sneaking into Saint Mysteria to steal the Reinhold fortune sounds like this kind of scheme he would hatch. 
God, just all the sciences. Oh my God. He seems to hold quite a grudge against you, Professor. What did you do to cross him? I haven't the slightest idea, Luke. I've never met this man in my life. Huh. Well, all that aside, what was all that talk of the secret hidden in the village? What was he talking about? It is a very curious village. I'm mystified by it myself. For the time being, though, let's focus on finding the golden apple, shall we? And perhaps, Simon, where did Simon go? I say we follow our newest lead and head for that tower. Let's check the, that dead end from before, Luke. Wow. I'm curious if that is tied into, because they're like, we've solved the, the shadowy figure. But like, is that also the person who's been stealing people? Or is that a different person? Yeah, curious, like the village. What a shock! Who could have imagined that Don Paolo, self-proclaimed arch-enemy of the professor, was posing as the inspector in an effort to steal the Reinhold fortune? The true Inspector Chelmy never set foot in St. Mysterie and is probably at home in London enjoying tea and sweets right now. H identity theft is not a joke. I, yeah, I love that. Self-proclaimed archenemy. There's also always something that is so deeply funny when a character is like, we're archenemies, and the other character is like, I don't fucking know who you are. Like, that's peak comedy to me. The idea that this guy was like, I'm gonna be Professor Layton's arch nemesis. And Layton is like, okay, like we've never interacted. If you wanna have beef with me, that's fine. But you genuinely, I don't have like, I'm not giving you the time of day. Very funny of him. Let's just talk to these people, because I feel like we have to be getting pretty close to the end. Uh, but I don't want to finish tonight because I'm going to try to pull out a very mini mural. There's less going on in this game, so... I'm simply shocked, shocked at this turn of events. Who could have guessed that we had an imposter in our midst? Someone else can make the joke. He had me completely fooled. But you saw right through him, Professor. I must say, I'm quite impressed with your cunning. I ask you now to put that brilliant mind of yours to work again and set out and search for the golden apple. It would be my pleasure, madam. By the way, are you feeling all right? You look a bit pale. Hmm. I awoke this morning with memories of a peculiar dream I must have had last night. In that, in it, my husband and I had just had a brand new baby girl, and oh, how everyone fawned over her. The next moment, suddenly I was in a park, walking hand in hand with my young daughter. With your daughter, you say? Now, why would I have a silly dream like that? These past few days have really been quite draining. Hmm. Professor Layton, I, I don't feel particularly well at the moment. I think I will go lie down for a bit. What's wrong with Lady Dahlia? She says she has a dream of walking in the park with her young daughter. There's something quite curious about that dream. Curious, like this village. Okay, so the mysteries we have left are... Random girl we ran into, question mark, who I'm just going to put out there, is obviously Flora. Maybe not obviously, but I'm pretty sure she's Flora. And then whatever the fuck is happening with these missing people and Lady Dahlia and Lady Violet. We, we've had, we've had uh, twins. We've had robots. We've had clones. The dream has me wondering what else it could be. Because Lady Violet has a grave, so I'm fairly certain she died. But the dream makes me wonder if somehow, like, Dahlia has some memories or something. So... They told us Lady Dahlia's- Lady Violet is dead. 
and I'm inclined to believe them. But I don't know. Oh, the apple? Uh, the apple is just the fortune, I think. I don't think the apple ties into the, like, clone, robot, twin nonsense. Because Raymond got kidnapped and, like, lost his memory of that. So was Raymond replaced? Did he have his memories? Oh, it's the control panel? Awesome. Did he have something happen to his memories, or is he a clone? Those are our options. I refuse to believe there's like a million twins running around, like identical twins. I refuse to believe there's a million identical twins running around. So, <laughs> he might just suck, that's also true. Oh dear, I'm stumped again, and I just know I'll never find a bride of my own if I don't solve this puzzle. I'll spend my golden years alone with only the small smell of cats and ribbon candy to keep me company. I beseech you, Professor, help me solve this puzzle. Sir, I don't think women care that much about your puzzles. All right, 40. You have a single sheet of balsa wood as shown in the diagram below. Your job is to cut the wood along the dotted lines so that you end up with four identical pieces. The pieces may face different directions, but they must not be mirrored versions of each other. So then I assume we can't just do this. Because they can't be mirrored images. That's fine. Okay. Um. <sighs> they face different directions. But they not be mirror images. Oh no. <clears throat> I do something similar though. Oh, 
I think that's it. Oh wait, is it? One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two. Maybe. There we go. All right. Ugh. Every puzzle has an answer. Okay. Well, it took me a long time to find those shapes once I was like, what if I need this shape? Oh, happy day. With that puzzle out of the way, I'm confident that no woman will be able to resist me. I'll be biding my loneliness goodbye before I know it. <coughs> Luke. Hey, Luke, you want a mysterious bottle? sure what to make of this, honestly. Hmm, I suppose a hint of mystery does adds to any room. I forgot they didn't have fucking beds. I just remembered we got this room and the woman was like, um, so I only have like one room rep that's not, doesn't have like being renovated and also I don't have any beds for you so enjoy. Like, what are we, what are, what are we doing? Are we getting a discounted rate? We don't have beds. Nuts. Nuts to me. Enter Don Paolo. I'm fairly certain I know which one he means. The vinyl mask? Why is it vinyl? The girl's warning. Yeah, she also, yeah, for sure. Just like, what are you doing? All right, do you have anything else to say to us, doll? Yeah? Probably not. She probably just has a puzzle, that's fine. I'd like to be left alone for a little while, Professor. I need some time to collect my thoughts. Oh, never mind. She's telling us to fuck off. Sorry, doll. Head for the tower. gave me a base that got me in trouble. It's a dead end. No two ways about it. Maybe there's another pathway to the tower hidden around here. I'd argue we've come to exactly the right spot, Luke. What do you mean by that? Look right here, Luke. There's a small indentation in the wall where one could place a small object, like a key. Oh, so this must be... Yes, this curious indentation is no doubt the spot indicated by Baron Reinhold's note to Archibald. Oh god, hiccups. I'm willing to wager if we put this in. Then give it a turn. Shake, shake. The villagers are like, what the fuck are you doing? Wow. That one little spot in the wall is curious. So, so curious it made the whole village curious by association. Wild. Just as I suspected. All right, Luke, in we go. I could I could have sworn we were gonna hit a. Uh, you need seventy five puzzles to move on. Like before this point. Solved. Puzzles sent. Save my progress. Well, Hannah did say that there was a seventy five one coming up, so I was like, oh, this one probably is it. Uh, and I, apparently, I'm wrong. The note the Baron left in Archibald's desk gave Leighton the clue he needed to realize the key was the key fit into the wall in the north end of town. From there, the professor and Luke could access the path to the tower. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, I was just reading an update from someone. Hello, anything I can get? No? Okay, that's fine. That's fine, video game. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Okay. Cool. Nothing. Let's do this puzzle. Um, who do we think this is? Do we think this is the girl? Do we think this could be the girl? This might be the girl. It's not you, Nate. Hate to break it to you, but I know it's not you. All right. I suppose congratulations are in order. You've made it this far after all. Oh, maybe it is the kidnapper. Of course, it looks like you've left quite a few of my puzzles in town untouched. What was that? Where's that voice coming from? I've hidden all sorts of wonderful puzzles across the state, Miss Deer. Are they about to be like, you need to do 75 puzzles? Go back to the village traveler and test your metal against a few more of my puzzles. Yeah, there we go. I'm not so unreasonable. I'd make you solve every puzzle before passing through here. But you're sorely mistaken if you think I'll let you through with less than 75 puzzles to your name. Come back when you've got the goods. Who do you suppose that was? Hmm, I can't quite place it. It was the video game telling you you didn't do enough puzzles. Regardless, it seems the mystery will have to wait. If we don't solve 75 puzzles first, we'll never make it inside the tower. Let's go back to town. Fair enough. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do as many puzzles as I can stomach before I have to go to bed. And then next week we will do the Mural of Musings and I assume finish this video game. So that's where we're at. One. Racetrack Riddle. The distance three racehorses can run around the racetrack in one minute is listed below. Horse A, two laps. Horse B, three laps. Horse C, four laps. Horses line up at the starting line and start running in the same direction. How many minutes will pass before all three horses line up at the starting line again? I just have to find a com the, the least common denominator, don't I? Is it just 12? Oh, how many minutes will pass? Hold on. That's... Mm, oh, that's... Oh, wait, no. All three horses line up at the starting line again. Oh, wait, is it... How many minutes will pass? So is it just one minute? There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. I am actually, I have uh, closed the chat for now for this section while I'm doing puzzles. I'll check it um, in Twitch if I need help, but like I'm not looking at what you guys are saying. So if you're talking to me, I'm not seeing it. Milk pitchers. On the counter, we have 10 quart pitcher full of milk, an empty seven quart pitcher, an empty three quart pitcher. 
The pitchers are unmarked. Your task is to buy the 10 quarts so that both the 10 quart pitcher and the 7 are holding exactly 5 quarts. Okay, let's see how many moves this takes me since this took me forever last time. Exactly five. No, no, hold on, hold on. going in circles with this. Why am I struggling with this so much? I feel like usually by now I run into something on accident. I need to figure out a way to get two. Yeah, if you come across it long enough, it be if you do it for long enough, you will. It'll you'll just keep doing it. Fifty. Oh no. While walking through a market on vacation, you notice a small stand selling cameras. A camera and case is selling for three ten. The seller tells you the camera costs 300 more than the case itself, and the case costs the same price as the set, minus the cost of the camera. You decide you'd rather wait on buying a camera and opt to just buy the case alone. You hand the hot seller a hundred dollar bill and see his eyes light up. Think fast. How much change should you be getting back? Oh, I might need to write this down because I think I'm sure I can figure it out easier. I don't care. I need to write things down or nothing makes sense. So, three. The, okay, so the set is three ten. The camera costs three hundred more than the case itself, and the case costs. The price of the set minus the camera. That's there, there's a minus. Oh wait, I 
mess that up. Oops. Um, that can't be right. Hold on. That does not make sense. Hold on. something up and my brain isn't working right tonight. Um, is 300 more than the case itself? Can't recall 300 than the case itself. Kim is a case minus the side of camera. itself. 300 more than the case itself. Plus. I think I messed up the variables I was writing with. Hold on. I think I fucked those up somewhere, so the set is 310. The camera Jeez, I messed that up again. The camera is 300 more than the case itself. And the case is the set and minus the camera. So it's 310 minus X. Well, I'm gonna sneeze. I need to check something real quick. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I had to not do math for a second. I had to check on something that was important. Okay, uh... I think my issue here is I keep getting a number where I'm getting a number- Like, the variables are accidentally canceling each other out. So I'm doing something wrong. Because my X's are just canceling each other out, which cannot be right. Minus the cost of the camera. 
the co minus the cost of the cameras, I think where things are getting fucked up, but I don't know how to fix that. So maybe we just don't do this one right now. Didn't want to do any more math tonight, so let's just not do it. Uh, I don't remember what number that was. That's fine. Cats and mice. Five, great. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. Then that in mind, how many does it take? Cats does it take to catch a hundred mice in a hundred minutes? Dude, I don't know. Five cats, five mice, five minutes. How many cats does it take to catch a hundred mice in a hundred minutes? I feel like I'm overthinking this. I almost definitely am. I didn't want to do any more math. But, you know... I don't know that this is one of the ones that I like. Um, your friend just got back from the post office. Every friend cut out the one. Seven uniquely shaped bunch. No, we're not doing this. No more math. Let's see if I can avoid math. Using the scraps left over from your breakfast, you've managed to cobble together a rather oddly shaped sandwich. How many times must you cut the sandwich in order to make it fit neatly in the container? God damn it. for me to like imagine I'm not spatial anything is not my specialty <clears throat> Here's my answer. Okay. 
Another puzzle solved. a terrible piece of bread. Terrible piece of bread. Truly terrible. I rather like this chair. Perfect. That's great. I'm glad. Gizmos. Oh, oh, we're missing, I think, just, like, two pieces. Maybe three. That's cool. The fuck is this? Oh, wait, it's her hands. It is a little bit pixelated. Five more to go. Let's see how many I feel like doing. Hello, Nikki. I'm just doing puzzles. Aces and the Joker? Sure. I have to do five more before we can move on next week. Oh, no. Okay, you've scattered the deck of 52 cards and one Joker face down on the table so you don't know which card is where. Next you start- oh no, let's- no. 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 I don't think I have many left in here, huh? What is this? Three umbrellas, okay. I don't like statistics, okay? I'm not good at them. Three identical looking umbrellas are sitting upright in a stand. Assuming the owners didn't check the umbrellas later. What percentage chance is there that only two people will walk off with their own umbrella? That only two will walk off. With That only two people will walk off with their own umbrella? That's a trick question. That's a trick question, right? Three identical looking umbrellas are sitting out right in their stand. Assuming the owners didn't check the umbrella's labels, what percentage chance is there that only two people will walk off with their own umbrella? That's zero, right? That has to be zero. That has to be zero. Because that's not possible. That should do it. Hello, welcome. Tavares the Every Mario epic. Uh, hello, we're doing puzzles. We are doing puzzles. I'm glad that one was easy because I was not about to do percentage. Oh my god, a bed. Holy shit, we found a bed. This is amazing. This is incredible. Luke, do you like this bed? It's really important to me that you have a bed, buddy. Wow, now you're talking. This one's just my style. Perfect. He's got a bed now. This is great. This is really good. <laughs> Thank God he's got a bed. <laughs> I was so nervous about him not having a bed. <laughs> oh, okay. OTTF, sure. I don't know what that means. Oh, 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 okay. Here you have a set of small paper cards. On each card is a single letter, but one of the cards is missing its letter. What letter belongs on the card?
O-T-T-F S-S-E-N-T Oh, <laughs> oops, <laughs> stupid. Can you let me write this letter? Jesus. Luke, here's my Oh answer. my God. Oh, it's dumb of me. <laughs> you don't write it in the box. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Uh, sure, it goes to Leighton. Why not? Oh, we're running out of puzzles. That's wild. Leighton, do you like that? What do you think of it? It's well made, but it needs something on top of it. Doesn't want it. These drawers are just perf the perfect size for me. They're big, buddy. But you know what? Wait. The fact that I can't move where they are is so annoying because this these shelves block half his bookcase. They block half the bookcase. That's silly. Alright. Thanks, Luke. Alright, we have two puzzles left to go and then I'll be going to bed. Let's hope to god we can- no. Find a star. Let's hope to f God that there's two in here that aren't math. I don't want to do any more math tonight. All right, uh, a star of the same shape and size as the one shown on the right is hidden somewhere in this picture. Trace its outline below. God damn it. Okay, well, saved a slot too, all right. Same size and shape. I'm just not good enough at like finding about uh, like a uh, like a uh, comparing sizes, you know. Really, it's gonna be like the the right size that's gonna get me. No. No. It 
I didn't trace that super well, so let's, uh... <laughs> ah, shit, I have to do it in one go? Video game? Why do you hate me so? How does this sound? Yay! Okay, next one. Next one, next one, next one. Next one, next one. Why can't I have just clicked on them? Oh, painting scrap. Let's see if I can solve any more of my little painting. It's really bothering me that I don't have all of them. Okay. Oh, there's a dog barking outside. Which one of my dogs is that? All right. So that one has to go there. Oh, no, fuck. This one may be... I feel like I should be able to place these by now. Whoa, my vision just went weird. Maybe it has to go this way. What is up with this one? Right, ah, shit. No, I always hit the wrong button for the painting. Does this one actually fit? Yeah, it does. Okay, perfect. Oh. There we go, okay. Whoo, we are just missing five pieces. Cool. It does look like her, doesn't it? I was thinking that before. Very strange, very uncomfortable. Nikki, I agree with you. Yeah, very curious. The surprise is that Thomas Astrick wasn't stealing from fans. He was actually stealing from Professor Layton this whole time. So, uh, want to talk about freaks and masks. Am I right? I don't give a shit about Mirac- Oh my god, Nikki. Okay, um, Nikki. There- <laughs> I, one of my Miraculous Mutuals reblogged this today, but there's like this best shifts poll going on on Tumblr, and because I don't know how randomized it was, but Adrian and Marinette were up against Achilles and Patroculus, and I was just like, <laughs> I, there were people on my dash who I follow who are, who are still in Miraculous, who are like, yes, love square, yes, love square should win, and I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? You think the love square has the longevity of Achilles and Patroclus? What are you talking about? <laughs> what on earth is happening? <laughs> anyway, oh no, that's the aces and joker. Anyway, I was like, we're not- I voted, and then I was- and then I, I, my reply, I was like, no offense to them. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's not gonna be love square. <laughs> They're not currently winning. I just- oh wait, this is the one I didn't want to do. This is- the, it's just- I was just- it was so funny to me. I was like, this- this- this combination is amazing. <laughs> the, yeah. The thing is, it wasn't even, like, super getting crushed. Like, it was clearly winning, but it was still, like, 60-40 or something. And I was like, we have to be realistic here. If we're talking about the best ships of all time, it's not gonna be Love Square. I mean, I guess JJ, but there was also the book. I didn't read it. I don't particularly want to. The Song of Achilles. People fucking love the Song of Achilles. There's Hades game. But, like, a lot of people just also know it. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's because I was on Percy Jackson Tumblr, but, you know, people... I don't think Narumitsu is on the... the... on the poll the poll list. I don't think we rank that high, unfortunately. 
Oh, no, not one of these. When you weren't looking, someone came by and gobbled up your fish dinner. The three brothers near the scene of this dastardly crime had to say, Me? Oh, yeah, I ate it. It was good, too. I saw A fit eat the fish right up. B and I didn't eat that fish. One of these brothers is lying, but which is it? So it has to be one that's contradicting the others. These are some... Faces. When you weren't looking, someone came by and gobbled up your fish dinner. Okay, that's not important. Me, I ate it. It was good too. So A, if A is telling the truth, then B is lying. So, I can't draw. So if A is telling the truth, B is lying. If B is telling the truth... Hold on, I'm doing this backwards. Uh, aren't I? If A is lying... And A didn't eat the fish... Then B would also be lying. And C would be lying, I think. If B is lying... Then A is lying... C is lying. Oh, I think I messed up how to think about this. I think I've accidentally broken my brain to think about this correctly. Only one is lying. So if A is lying, the other two don't make sense. If B is lying, A doesn't make sense. So I think it just has to be C. There we go. Okay, cool. That Critical one was confusing because I think I was doing it backwards. Hold on one sec before I finish this. <laughs> All right, cool. Luke probably wants the television. Let's just check though. Let's give it a look so I can also save. Neat to telly. I wonder if it still works. That is a terrible place to put a television. Anyway, um... Alright, so that's all for tonight. We're done. Um, I didn't save. So next week we will be doing a mural and we will be also, uh... Finishing the game, I assume. I'll just run long if we don't finish it because basically I I don't know if we've ever really gone into that last act and then been like, we need another stream. So we'll just finish it. So thank you all so much for coming. Um, Thursday I'm doing Nancy Drew. I probably am gonna finish the game. If I finish early, which I kind of suspect I will, I'm just gonna like play Stardew or something because I don't want to get in this Space where I'm like doing half a Nancy Drew game a stream and then half a half of a different game and then on Friday Ronnie and I are doing more Doki Doki Literature Club and we finished act one so we are in like the funky weird stuff that is going on um JFK I hope that everything is all right and uh stay safe stay safe um yep okay that's all See you next Monday, or I see you when I see you. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'll talk to you when I talk to you. And thank you so much for coming. Goodbye. <laughs>